Hey, this is Mitch Eilerman with RV Wholesalers. Uh, today we're looking at a 2022 Forest River Wildwood. The model is a 36 VBDS. Um, the biggest features on this particular unit is going to be it is overall length of 38 foot 11 inches, so just under, th nine, under 39 foot. Um, it's going to feature two slide outs, a residential fridge, it does have a nice patio door so something like this you can pull around the country but a lot of customers will put it like you know at a permanent campground or they'll put it out at their property um, because it's you know it's, it's a lot longer so it's not you know you're not pulling it as much so it gives you a ton of space it's going to feature a front bunk room um, with the versa bunk um, it'll f feature a uh, slide out in the living room and then it has a rear bedroom with a bed slide as well uh, it will feature a versa um, lounge in the living area that lays down where your dinette and your sofa both lay down to a complete flat area to be able to sleep and then the versa bunk system up front will lie down into like a double bed up front with bunks above as well um, again it will have a, a residential fridge microwave stove oven uh, large bathroom and a very large bedroom as well Hey, my name is Mitch Eilerman. I'm with RV Wholesalers here in Lakeview, Ohio. Uh, today we're going to do a walkthrough on a 2022 Wildwood. Uh, the model is going to be a 36 VBDS. Uh, so we'll start, comes with a nice, really nice white exterior. It does have some nice like burgundy orange graphics mixed in with the grays. Blends real well with the overall unit. Uh, as you come down, you're going to notice you've got a huge uh, storage compartment here up front. So you've got storage all, all up underneath here. As you come over here, you're going to notice this does have a nice patio door. So this particular model is really nice for if you're going to put it out like at your property or at a campground where you go, you know, keep it there and stuff like that. You can pull this around the country. It's, it's you know, it's 38 foot 11 inches, so it's a little bit longer of a unit to be pulling all over all the time. But, um, but you definitely can do that. But more people are going to put it more at a permanent spot and leave it there so they don't have to pull it all the time. Um, nice thing about the patio door is you can still see underneath your awning all out here. Um, put, a lot of people will, will put up the steps and then put a deck on the side of here and butt the deck right up against there as well. It does feature a power awning up top. You're going to have outside speakers, uh, your, your six gallon gas and electric water heater, backside of your furnace here. Um, this does have the heated and closed underbelly with the removable panels underneath. So um, instead of just putting like a big piece of plastic underneath there, like a thin piece of uh, almost like tape, uh, they put individual uh, molded plastic panels under there so you can just unscrew those and get access points throughout the coach versus having to cut something and try to tape it all back up. So that's one big thing that they do that a lot of manufacturers are not going to do out there. As we keep it down, you, you'll notice you've got two entries. So this is going to be a front bunk room slash bedroom. Um, it's going to have a middle living area and kitchen area and then a rear master bedroom. Okay, so what's nice is, is you know, if the, if the kids are sleeping up front, you're still out here by the fire, um, you don't have to go back in the front there to wake, you know, make noise and wake them up. You can just come into your bedroom right in here and then it, it keeps everything a lot more quiet that way too. Um, as you come back a little bit farther, it does have the power jacks, so all corners will, jacks will be power, front tongue jacks power as well. Um, it does feature a backup camera prep and then a large window on the back wall as well. Uh, let's head on in, we'll, we'll take a look on the inside. All right, moving on to the inside. So as we come in here, we've got our patio door, right? As you can see, you can see everything that's going on out on your camp, camp spot right here. Kids are playing out there. You know, you can still see everything that's going on, which is really nice. That's why a lot of people like to have that. And I believe this is the only model in the regular Wildwood line that does have the patio door option. So um, directly when you walk in to your right, you're going to have your sound bar. You're going to have your fireplace, uh, which does give off heat, electric heat, and then you'll be able to uh, put your TV up here. Um, you can either mount it or set it right here, and it does have all the hookups and everything to plug in. As we come over here, we're going to go up to our front. Your front does have a pocket door, all right, so it's not like a cheap curtain or anything like that. Um, all this does is pop here, and then you just go ahead and, you'd, and you'll just pull it like this. 
and it totally shuts it off. Nice and convenient to set this area off up here. All right, we're coming into the, um, the, the bunk room up front. So what you'll notice is you've got a bunk here, a bunk here, and then this is called the Versa bunk system. So this, when the, these both come up out of the way, this will fold, uh, flip over to here, and then that mattress just lays straight down. So you can use this as a place to sit while these flip up. Um, and then this comes into a double bed, and these will both flip down, and then you've got two more bunk beds up front. Um, Again, I don't know anybody else on the market that does this, so it gives you a big flexibility with not only kids, but also adults can sleep down below as well. Okay, moving over to your slide out, it's in your living room. So again, we, we went into Versa, right? Well, Versa Lounge now. So what we've got set up right now is, this is a sofa and a dinette, but this, this piece can be moved like it is now to an L. So now you got a big long L sofa, this piece will come off and turn around here, so you've got a regular dinette. Um, I've got a paper, actually, if you can zoom in just a little bit. I'm just going to show you a little bit how it works. So this shows, as we're sitting here now, in the L lounge. Uh, this shows in the dinette and regular sofa area. And then you'll notice they've got the, the chase lounge, which is that L like we're in now. And then on the very end, you'll notice everything lays down flat, so it turns into one huge bed where your sofa and dinette is one huge bed. Backing out here, you'll notice that they had on the paper here the stow and go. So stow and go is they put storage bins underneath everything that fit in here perfectly. That'll give you 20.3 cubic feet of stow and go storage. So they've got three bins here, then as you come down, you're going to have another bin underneath both your dinette seats down below on both sides on that one as well. Moving into your kitchen area, you're going to notice you've got a seamless countertop up there, so no big seam to over time warp and catch moisture. This is an undermount sink. It does have the pull down residential sprayer. Um, these little things, everybody always asks what these are. It's, it gives you more counter space, but allows you to put dishes on here as well so they can dry. Uh, it is a split sink down below. So you've got, you know, both, it's not just one single basin sink. It does have a center divider for, you know, washing and drying off dishes and everything. Moving over, you're gonna have um, your glass top. That just gives you more counter space. And then you've got three burners here. You do have cool little blue lit switches, and then you do have an oven down below as well. Fold that back, and then I want to show you, it's called um, the Active Susie down below here. Again, flexibility, right? So now you've got full drawers that come all the way out, ball bearing drawer glides, so you have access and utilization, and you're not just trying to have to reach back in there and stuff in. You've got four, four of the, or three of these that go all the way through there and then you also have some extra storage down below for a trash can and everything else down below here directly behind me this model does feature a residential fridge so just like an apartment size almost you've got a big top freezer and then you'll have a big fridge down below a lot like basically like a house type refrigerator directly behind me from here is going to be your big pantry you do have a nice size pantry right here for everything that you need. Next, we'll swing on in to the bathroom. All right, moving into your bathroom. This is a walkthrough bathroom. So starting, as you come in from the living room, you're gonna have two huge deep cabinets that go all the way back in for anything you need, towels, all your different utensils. It does have a huge shower with a door that pulls all the way across. Directly over here is you're gonna have a nice medicine cabinet that does open up. It's got a little hook just to keep everything from banging when going down the road. Um, you've got your sink, another open stop down below with fold up towels and different stuff to put down there. Your toilet, which gives you plenty of leg room. And then you also have more storage again, directly behind the toilet uh, to mold more, more things. So you got plenty of storage in your bathroom for sure. Next, we're gonna to go to the rear master bedroom. Okay, moving into the master bedroom. Um, yeah, you got your queen bed, full walk around. You can get on both sides. 
um, does have a huge uh, window rear uh, window and then windows on each side of the bed and then they did put 110 outlets and USB ports with little small little nightstands right there as well and then at the foot of the bed on the wall here you're gonna notice you're gonna have a really big closet walk-in closet where you can hang stuff um, it's full height you're gonna have more storage down below to put more stuff and then up top here you've got a little counter uh, where you can mount a TV here plug in and then it also has your second entry um, as well and then you'll also have storage underneath your bed as you come up again more storage look they put little they, 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 everything fits perfect in here so if you got socks and towels and everything you don't have to go digging you can just lift up on this put this right up here on your countertop get what you need put it right back in and then you've got a big storage down below there as well again my name is Mitch Eilerman I'm with RV wholesalers here in Lakeview Ohio uh, this was the 2022 Wildwood 36 VBXL um, I appreciate you coming in taking a look if you got any questions at all uh, give me a call my direct number is 937-843-4380 thank you